When we imagine the map of India, most of us imagine it to look like this. In reality, this is the full map of India, with the often neglected Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It's an understandable mistake, but unfortunately for us, India's leaders since independence have made the very same mistake at the expense of the development and true integration of the strip of islands. Union Territory ranks last amongst Indian states and UTs in terms of GDP, and infrastructure on the islands is still stuck largely in the colonial past. This is set to change, however, with the Modi government unrolling a mega 32,500 crore plan to completely transform the region in five years by 2025. Let's have a look at the different aspects in which we can see Andaman and Nicobar completely transform in the years to come. The Modi government recently inaugurated a 2,300 km underwater optic fiber cable connection between Chennai and Port Blair, which will provide high speed internet connectivity to the region. The ambitious project has delivered smooth internet access to a region plagued with connectivity issues. A similar project connecting Kolkata to the islands is in the works, which will truly pave the way for the region's digital integration with mainland India. An internet speed of 400 gigabytes per second will be provided at Port Blair, with 200 GB per second for the islands. So far, Andaman and Nicobar only had 3.2 GBPS of bandwidth through a single satellite uplink that was barely able to serve its 3.8 lakh people. The biggest development coming to the region is a 10,000 crore transshipment port that will tap into the vast sea traffic in the Indian Ocean. Currently, Sri Lanka's Colombo port alone has a higher docking capacity than all of India's major ports combined. What makes this project even more crucial is that upon completion, the Nicobar port will be one of India's largest capacity ports and will give a stiff competition to Sri Lanka's monopoly over sea traffic in the Indian Ocean by replacing the Colombo port as the prime dock in the region. This will no doubt boost maritime trade, increase tariffs from the docking of commercial ships, while also consolidating India's maritime footprint in the Indian Ocean. A large chunk of PM Modi's 33,000 crore plan will be dedicated to the construction of airports on the islands, with 6,600 crore being earmarked for two state-of-the-art airports in Port Blair and Campbell Bay. A new terminal building is also being built at Port Blair's Veer Savalkar International Airport. The Modi government has also undertaken the ambitious project of building 120 kilometers of highways on the islands. Some of the other major projects include 2,700 crores for solar and LNG power plants, 1,700 crores for solar ports and modern docks, and 400 crores for electric buses, cars and rickshaws. Combined, the above projects will surely transform Andaman and Nicobar into a modern, highly developed center of trade and commerce that will also attract tourists from across the world. So what makes the Andamar and Nicobar strategically important? Apart from attracting tourism, the Modi government has planned these projects with China in mind. India has recently granted Japan and Australia docking rights to Andaman and Nicobar for the respective militaries, a move that is well in line with India's Act East policy. More than half of China's total sea trade routes pass through the Indian Ocean, while more than 90% of the oil shipped from the South China Sea also traverses the waters of the adjoining seas. In case of a conflict, the combined navies of India, Japan and Australia can blockade the region and prevent China from accessing the Indian Ocean and the markets beyond, forcing China to take a much longer route via the Pacific Ocean, where US already has its fleets waiting for them. The placement of the islands and the increased military presence in the region could well be the knife that finally cuts the string from China's string of pearls, naval encirclement of the Indian subcontinent. By bringing the winds of change to Andaman and Nicobar, the Modi government has not only brought development to a historically neglected region, but even tapped into its immense strategic potential to counter China and increase India's dominance over the Indian Ocean.